A major investment bank makes a series of predictions for the global economy amid rising inequality, slowing GDP growth, and the elevated risk of a new recession. One America's Christian Rose has more. My view is that 2020 is going to be about the dissipation of these uncertainties. As the world is inching closer to a start of the new decade, Bank of America Merrill Lynch makes a bold prediction for the world economy going forwards. In a recent report, America's second largest investment bank says the 2020s will mark the end of the latest wave of globalization as we know it, marking a pivot to manufacturing-based national economies. Bankers analyzed economic trends between 1981 and 2016 and found globalization caused social disruption, income inequality and slower GDP growth across the world. But you're going to be affected long term by the outside because at the end of the day we're 300 million, 330 million people, there's 7 billion out there. At the end of the day we're uh, the largest economy but we add up all the rest, we're 20 odd percent of it. You know, so there's, mm -hmm. we will be affected by it and there's, there's concern. According to Bank of America, international stock markets will extend growth into the next decades, while central bank interest rates will remain low. This means global GDP will continue to expand modestly, but that will come at the expense of growing debts, including by national governments, private sector companies and households alike. This may threaten a new debt bubble down the road. We think the uptick in the global growth cycle is only going to be mild. And Europe, with its high operational leverage, but its structural growth weakness, it needs a strong upturn typically to outperform. We think that will not be the case. Bank of America says advanced economies will increasingly rely on precious metals, real estate and trade protectionism to ensure GDP growth in the next decade. Such countries will have to develop better industrial policies and increase spending on technology, including clean energy and advanced telecommunications. So-called digital economy will become dominant in the 2020s as well, and national governments will have to protect domestic technology from hostile foreign takeovers. But there are enough people in our society that know how to jump to that curve. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, God rest his soul, Paul Allen. They'll build it, because there's nothing more powerful than the American free enterprise. But experts warn, although current macro fundamentals look good, the next global economic crisis may be just around the corner. A recession in the foreseeable future will likely be mild, as the Federal Reserve has some room to cut rates and support consumer demand. However, a structural meltdown may start in China due to its massive burden of state and corporate debts that stands at 300% of GDP. The Fed has never cut more than 75 basis points at a stretch, which they did, without right. the U.S. coming actually going into recession. Mm. Mm. The market is definitely still pricing some recession. This is why also cyclical stocks, while they've done well recently, they haven't done any better. Overall, existing trends show the most recent wave of globalization is no longer supporting GDP growth at a sustainable pace. This means cutting-edge technology is crucial to potentially turning the next decade into the new Roaring Twenties. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.